So your boss won't tell you this, but you need to hear this. See, what happens in life is uh, the way that wealth is produced, typically the, the majority, the bulk of wealth in an enterprise, in a business, goes to the person that's taking the most financial risk. Okay, so this is just something that you need to understand. And hopefully when you understand this, you will come to understand why uh, you need to have some kind of plan for wealth building outside of just your job. Because what happens in a job is that um, you are easy to replace, right? Like, uh, suppose like uh, you are a copywriter. You know, this is something that uh, I myself do. I, you know, I, I, I've helped a lot of businesses with copywriting. Or you could be doing uh, software development, again, something that I've done. Or you could be doing a uh, graphic design. Or you might even be a line cook at a restaurant. Or, you know, uh, a, a parking attendant or something like that. All kinds of jobs. But what happens is when you are working at that kind of level, you are pretty easy to replace, right? Like if you walk away from the job, uh, the boss can just put out a notice and hopefully within a week they can have 10 other applicants or more. And uh, within a week they might have replaced you. Uh, so your role as somebody that's working a job is something that's fairly easy to replace. And when you turn up to the job, uh, you are not expected to put up any capital so you don't have to take that risk. You are not expected to work for free in a lot of in a lot of jobs anyway. So you are not taking like a financial risk that you are not gonna be paid. Instead, the deal is you are actually gonna uh, you know be getting a guaranteed salary every month. <laughs> so in other words, the risk situation is completely the reverse for you. But uh, the owner of the company that's hired the premises where business is being done. You might have signed a long-term lease and paid up a whole bunch of money. Uh, you might have bought expensive equipment that uh, the company is using to, uh, to do work. And then he's got, um, he's got payroll to pay. So he's on the hook for that. He can't claim business was bad this month, guys. So nobody's getting paid. <laughs> right? so, so he's on the hook. So he's, he's taking all these risks, you know, and um, bad things might happen in the economy. And then rather than making money, the business loses money. So that's a big risk. Again, that risk, uh, you don't pay it because you are expecting to be paid no matter what happens. But for your employer, you know, that risk is a bad thing that if that happens to him and he makes a loss that year, he still got to pay everybody that's uh, on the team. So uh, the owner of the company is taking all these risks when you are in a job. Um, and, and so what happens also is that when it times, uh, time comes to get paid, the owner of the company is going to take most of the upside simply because uh, everybody else is replaceable. But the owner of the company is somebody that's taking all the risk. Uh, they are not replaceable because if they literally shut down the business tomorrow and they move to a different country, uh, that business might never be replaced, right? Like that business might be lost forever. Like you've seen this uh, in certain countries, in Western countries, for example, uh, there were businesses that started offshoring and moving to India, moving to, uh, you know, Malaysia, moving to the Philippines. And it kind of hollowed out parts of the U.S. economy. You look at even uh, European uh, economies. Same thing has happened. So where businesses have moved out, uh, but nobody is able to literally just open up next door or open up in the same premises and take over because that's risk taking. You need to have capital. You need to uh, you know be willing and able to lose money if that, <laughs> that happens. So risk takers are not always easy to replace uh, but unfortunately when you are just working as an employee you are not really taking any of those risks you know you are you are really not uh, a risk taker in the situation you're going for the safe guaranteed thing 
Uh, but unfortunately, that's where the world doesn't come that way. The world actually goes to the risk takers. The risk takers is who gets uh, most of the world because they are literally generating most of the world anyway because the guys that are that might be doing the actual work, uh, they are filling a commodity role. You know, they are filling a commodity role where uh, their labor or their skill can be purchased on the market uh, for a certain hourly rate. And so if this guy doesn't want to work, the, the owner can just go and hire somebody else to do the same kind of work uh, with the same level of quality uh, and the same level of output, right? Whereas this risk-taking role, uh, putting your capital, putting your, your money, putting your resources on the line, uh, that can be replaced. Then, uh, you know, for, for better or worse, that's where uh, the bulk of wealth goes. So... Your boss is actually not going to tell you as a result that if you are just relying on a job that you're not going to make uh, much of the world or any of the world. Uh, in recent years, you know, they, they've been complaining about how the disparity between uh, the top CEOs and the average worker in the, in the companies that they uh, control, like the wage disparity has just grown so big. And, and this is part of it, is that there's a difference between uh, the guys at the top who, you know, might be, maybe they have some ownership incentives and things like that. Uh, they, are, they are taking the characteristics of an owner. And so they actually make a lot more money, but they are making so much more than the guys doing the actual work. And in a lot of cases, in a lot of ways, it's very unfair, but it's something you need to be aware of. So given all that, what are you going to do to actually produce wealth? And this is where I tell you that um, in reality, your boss is not telling you this, but starting your own side hustle is actually your own path to financial independence and your path to wealth. Because when you start a side hustle, of course, it's uncomfortable, but it's uncomfortable and scary for exactly the same reasons that studying uh, the big business or company that you happen to be working for is scary and why like I pointed out before the owner of the company has taken a lot of risks like they had to lease out premises they had to come up with an idea not knowing whether the idea is gonna make money is gonna be a success <laughs> they could have lost their shit and it's likely that before they started that successful business that they actually did lose their shit on earlier businesses and this is now what you have to do when you are starting a side hustle. Like you have to literally pick a, a business idea from, from scratch, you know, and say like, I'm going to do a side hustle and you're going to be scared. You're going to have that bad feeling in your stomach, man, I could lose my money. I'm putting five grand on this thing. Uh, I'm trying to start a SaaS software as a service. I'm trying to start an e-commerce store. I could lose all this money. Uh, but because you are now taking risks, you are now in line to be compensated uh, accordingly. If the business works, you are actually going to make uh, most of the profits from that business because you are now the owner. You are now the guy that's taking all the risks. Uh, you are not just uh, you know, an employee getting a guaranteed wage, a guaranteed salary anymore. And this is why if you really want financial independence, your boss might not be telling you this, but starting your own side hustle is really the path to getting there. And uh, it's something that uh, I encourage people to do. The sooner you get started, the better. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to fail. It's inevitable. But the sooner you start, the sooner you make those mistakes, the sooner you're actually going to get to the other side and have the lessons to actually be able to do it well. If you need some extra resources to help you in your journey, you can grab some of my free side hustle resources. The links will be in the description.